Well, it's certainly hard to go past the visibility you get in the 2050s classic super cab. I really like the one-piece front windscreen, you know, the slight curve around the side. It's, uh, it looks great and it's, and it's effective. The visibility on this boat is, is just about unparalleled, really. Uh, it's always warm in here, you know. I, 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 I don't think I'd quite like to have a window myself, but, but the setup's great. Uh, good, comfortable driving position, as you'd expect. And, and Stabby's, boy, they, uh, they really do drive. They, uh, they're quite something. If you don't mind putting the throttle down and throwing a boat around, these things drive like they're on rails. Uh, good quality Stabby Craft branded bolster seats, which are great sitting, you know, sitting or standing. As much as I hate to use that phrase, but it's completely appropriate. No, sitting down, beautifully comfortable. Uh, plenty of room on the dash for electronics. There's a little Ferrino unit on here on this boat. And of course, Yamaha's great gauges connected to the 154 stroke on the back. I think we should go and do something with the boat. In recent years, Stabby Craft boats have become more and more popular with the recreational fishing community and uh, the this new 2050 Super Cab is probably one of the, the better examples of their refined setup. It's got this really good bait board, live bait setup here, uh, you've got your knife holders in the front, you've got your bait tank in here and um, I'm just going to grab a little ivy here, I'm just going to chuck it down against the rock, see if we can't pick up a snapper. Oh, just bear with me for a second. Another him to me. Just chuck that down there and um, cook it through it a bit more. So we'll just let that swim down and you never know, we might get lucky. What I particularly like about this bait board and, and, and live bait tank setup is just like, like it's a complete unit, it's really easy to keep clean. I quite like the black, you know, it's just, it just looks good with the gold. And of course, um, the easy access to the bait tank is essential. I think snap a bit earlier. Um, other things that Stabby Cup have been working on are their, uh, what they call the game chaser transom. So they've started shaping the transom in such a way that the guys that are using these boats for game fishing, uh, it's more suited to, to backing down after a fish. So it's, it's kind of a V shape and it's, it's parting the water as you go. It makes a real difference as you'll see in a minute. Uh, look, it's a really good setup. It's a nice and easy walk around. There's pretty good tokers here at the back, you know, and the, and the gunnels are a good height. So, all around, this is a great Stabby Craft stable boat. It's a great riding that we've known forever. And just those extra refinements around the fishing is making a real difference. So, thumbs up for me for the 2050 Super Cab, that's for sure. So with the Game Chaser transom we were talking about earlier, in this case it's fully closed. I'm not sure if that's an option or not. Uh, I like it fully enclosed, it's that extra kind of security, you haven't got a gate to bang around. But what they have done is put nice little extra seats there, kick back and relax while you chat to the boys having a fish, whatever you're doing, close it up again. And across the back here there's the, the standard really good quality Stabby Craft boarding ladder. And that's a really good feature as well. It's uh, none of the old stainless kind of flop them out flimsy ladders of the old days. These things are robust. You're never going to break it. It's a good look. Just a quick demonstration of the game Chaser Transom in action. Like really beautifully smooth. No water coming over the back at all. You know we're not we're not cranking it around, but we're going pretty quick. We're going more than quick enough to do what you need to do. I'm looking all a bit cack handed on the reel here. I picked it up and it was set up for left handed and uh, didn't notice before I hooked up. So, um, excuse the ugly technique, but hey, if it's effective, it's effective.
is obviously its stability. You know, the company's put a lot of time and research into uh, into building the pontoons for these boats and designing and reading and designing them to get the boats more and more stable. I think this is a generation three, but of which I'll check. Uh, but they've really they've really got it right. You know, they they are the famous stable boat. They're used by film crews all over the world for that reason. They're used by um, whoop, commercial operators, coast guard, that kind of thing. All for the same reason, super stable, super well built. One of the indestructible 4x4s of the water, really. Uh, this is actually giving me a bit of a hard time on my back to front upside down left handed reel. <laughs> <laughs>